I went to Duke's house for, uh, you know, the regular unity dinner on Thursday. And when I walked in, it was a pleasant surprise. Oh, man. <laughs> I wasn't expecting, you know, my family and Duke's family and all the people. I can't tell you how happy I was when I seen everyone. I mean, I mean, I never had a surprise party, and this was the first time, and it was in great fashion. I was happy for Mike to be you know, recognized at the dinner. I just want to say thank you. We appreciate you. I remember him coming in, you know, as a freshman, as my roommate. You know, he came in with everything that he had over his back. He just came ready to work. Whenever you have a guy, you know, that's just a hard worker and resilient as Mike is, you know, it, it motivates you. Wait, 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 I'm trying to be. Being surrounded by so many people that support me, you know, it's, it's a great feeling. To be appreciated, you know, to be to be loved by people and respected is it's something that's is more than I can ask for. <laughs> Sitting in the front row of the defense and meeting rooms is it's just uh, symbolic of where I came as a player. Right. Good morning, guys. Good morning. 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 First thing I want to do is I want to go through our two minutes. Well, I came so far, you know, as opposed to, you know, where I was as a freshman. Does everybody see it? And, you know, uh, with this coaching staff coming in and developing me the way they have, you know, I'm truly blessed with that. Brandon and Darius, please stand up. When Coach D, you know, told the seniors to stand. Let's talk about the moment. Struck a nerve. It was like, you know, this is my last time I'm going to be in this hotel, you know, with these group of guys. So, you know, it's definitely something that I cherish. We have an opportunity to accomplish two things. We have an opportunity to send these guys out the way we want to send them out, and we have an opportunity, okay, to take, take this thing and propel this thing where we want it to go. And on defense, I really don't think that's a better example than Brandon and what he's displayed, you know, throughout the years here is growing as a player and learning the things he needs to do and most of all maturing as not only a man but as a football player in this program. You guys got it? All right. So, hey, put on third row. Going through Hurricane Walk, well, I just was looking at the fans and, you know, just, you know, the band and, and the cheerleaders and really just getting caught in the moment, you know, because it was my last time that I'd be, you know, making that walk as a Miami Hurricane. Brendan and I did the Hurricane Walk, you know, we walked together at the same time. I remember talking to him box, like, yeah, it's the last time, you know, we kind of had a smile on our face and was laughing, but it was uh, something that I remember forever. came to Miami to play offense or defense. I came to play anything. I was able to snap. And it ended up being a uh, long snapper. It was pretty interesting. You know, he stepped in with not much practice, not much experience, you know, kind of out of nowhere. You know, he wasn't expecting you know, the guy ahead of him to blow out his knee. He was put in a position where he had to step in, and he took it upon himself to make sure he got better week after week. From Davie, Florida, meeting Ann and Anya Kelly, number 61, a long snapper, Paul Kelly. Getting my name called out during the intros, that was pretty exciting. It's like a dream I've had ever since I was little to be in a big stadium and have my name called out. Do you remember your senior day? I absolutely do. At the Orange Bowl? Yeah, I sure do. And what was that emotion like going through the smoke? I don't really want to talk about it. It's still that emotional. I mean, it, it, it's, one of those, it's one of those days that stay with you your whole life.
nine yard field goal. Snap is down, kick on the way, has something behind it, and it is good. You know, we jumped out with a quick lead with a field goal. Miami three, South Florida nothing. And then, um, you know, throughout the first half, we had three field goals. On the way, good. To jump out with a lead like that and to do it with my senior brothers, you know, that Dalton Holden and, and Paul Snap, and it was big. And Miami continues the field goals against USF. It is Jake Whitehall nine and USF nothing. People will come to me and, you know, they, they congratulate me, but I turn around and I congratulate Dalton and Paul. They're both on point. You know, they both take pride in what they do. He's three for three. Without them, I can't do anything. I do take a lot of pride in being the holder. I, I take pride in, you know, whatever I do. I was a transfer from community college in California. Uh, when I got the opportunity to come out here, I was stoked. That was, you know, really appreciative for the, my opportunity. Box to put it away, averaging 40 yards a kick this year. You know, I worked pretty hard and I got the starting spot. So to be here and be punting here for the last two years has been re really awesome. On first down, here's a pass intercepted by Jimmy Gaines. Jimmy Gaines at the 20 to the 15 yard line. And Miami will be set up again in perfect field position. Play fake, looking for the end zone. Firing, right corner, caught for a touchdown. It's the senior, Kendall Tompkins. For Kendall to score that first touchdown, I was so happy for him and, and for the rest of us seniors. I mean, that was just another thing one of the seniors did in that game. And Miami has built a 16-0 lead. I was in on a touchdown drive. That plan time meant a lot to me because not being a starter, I never know if I'm going to play or not. Um, and normal games when I do play, it'll be 10, 11, 12 snaps. Jay Lou really, you know, uh, values, you know, the time that he has when he is in the game. He understands that football isn't promised. You know, he understands how crucial each snap is. I was blessed enough to play 27 snaps against USF. Third down and two. My number was called out. I was ready to execute and to help win the game. And a first down. We put a lot of emphasis on honoring the seniors all week, and it was just great that we could honor them with how we played. On third down and 10, there's a quick fire, a slant incomplete. At the 42-yard line. To come home and do what we were able to do as a defense. Has a tight pocket, going to run to the right side, to the 10-yard line, and it's drilled on the far side. Not allowing any touchdowns. Here they come with Gianni Paul, handoff. Left side, oh my goodness. A big hit at the 15-yard line. Now that's slamming the door on somebody. It feels good, you know, when, you, when you're able to go out there and execute it, not only defensively, but special teams. Kick is blocked. Miami blocked the kick, and the ball is loose. Miami will have the football. The Hurricane special teams again come up big. That offense was clicking. First and goal, stretch play for Duke Johnson. Running left, looking for a block, tries to bounce it outside the five. Touchdown! Backing up to put it in the air, Stephen Morris on first down. Go. Going down the sidelines for Herb Waters. He's got it! He's at the 40, he's at the 30. One man to beat at the 10. He will go all the way for a touchdown! That's what really made it special is that, you know, every unit was, you know, at their best. Miami 30 and USF 3. You know, as the game came to an end, you know, we, we just played so well as a team. You know, we had a solid lead. Here's a field goal attempt by Whitecloth on the way, and it is good. You know, he quietly has had a great day today. I was really happy to see Jake, you know, make all his field goals, especially on senior day. You know, he did go through a rough patch at the beginning of the season. Watching him kick, he wasn't hitting the ball as well as what he normally does. Hitting that rough patch in the middle of the season, it was tough. You know, I was just so fortunate to have, you know, a, a team like we have. Not once did I have any negative feedback from the team. They all still had confidence in me. And, uh, I mean, that made the world a difference. And Miami now leads it 40 to 6 over South Florida. And Whitehall continues to knock him through. For Jake to get his confidence back, that was really big for, you know, not just himself, but the whole team. Anytime you get to your senior year in college, you've been through a lot, but most particularly this group. We really wanted to make sure that we could send them out as winners in their last home game. Hurricanes win it. Miami 40 and USF 9.
Great win, boy. Last home game we won, baby. That's a blessing, man. Well, that's a great win. Great win. Total team win. Okay? And on behalf of everybody, seniors, awesome. I'm so glad that you got a chance to yeah, like that. I thought we played one of our best games of the year. That's a credit uh, to the senior leadership uh, that we got. We had a chance to celebrate in the locker room and I could see the joy that they had of really celebrating that last moment in sunlight. Come on, teammates pulled the getaway cool on me. It was real cold, man. It, it felt good, man. So your teammates care about you. You know that was your last home game. I think when you're able to go out on top around a group of guys, you know, like the guys I've been able to, you know, come in with and also see come in and develop and get better. Even with, you know, Coach Golden and his staff. Last time, seniors, here we go. It's great to be a Miami Hurricane. You know, when you're able to share that moment, it only makes you feel great. <laughs> just so fortunate that we were able to go out on such a high note. You know, that's something that I'll definitely remember for a long time.